Apple tried to buy this company twice and failed both times. Our story starts with David Holt, who at the time was a physics student researcher. In 2008, he co-founded a company none other than Leap Motion. The main goal of the company was to disrupt how people interact with technology. I mean, at the time, everyone was using keyboard and mouse, and David wanted to challenge that. Oh, he's a good boy. So they made this small device that you would place in front of your computer. It would essentially track your hand motion, translating it into commands for the computer. In June of 2011, just three years after they founded the company, they raised 1.3 million in seed fundings. May of 2012, 12.75 for their Series A, God is sunny out. And January of 2013, a whopping $30 for their Series B. Not $30, $30 million for their Series B. And with their whopping Series B, they were able to release 500,000 units of their device. In July of 2013, they got some really mixed reviews though. But even so, they were still able to get Apple's attention. That year, Apple offered to acquire Leap Motion for the valuation that it was at, which is around $300 million. Oh, that's good. However, David not only rejected Apple, he also mocked the company. He said that Apple was not an innovative company and then praised Google for its Android OS. Afterwards, VR kind of fell through, and Apple came back in 2018. They once again made another offer to buy Leap Motions, this time for 30 to 50 million, about 10% of what they offered before. The deal was so close to happening that Apple actually sent out offer letters to all the employees at Leap Motion. But for unknown reasons, it fell through again. Finally, in the May of 2019, Leap Motion was bought by Ultra Haptics. The deal was only for $30 million, but technically it made a lot of sense because the two companies have been working with each other for many years. In 2021, David left Leap Motions as a CTO. But don't worry, this is not a failure story. David went on to create his next company, one that you might already have heard of, called Midjourney. 